Okay, so the first thing we're gonna be doing is hitting up that moisturizer. You gotta hit that moisture, girl. If you don't have a good base, your makeup isn't gonna sit well. It's not gonna look flawless. This is a moisturizer I usually use. I like this one because it's also SPF 60. It's going to prevent wrinkles and whatnot. I always use the Garnier Umbrella. Yay, just give it a little... I need to like give it as much moisture as possible now I'm there. You do have to be careful with this stuff if you're going to be wearing it at night or something. Because it has SPF in it, it's going to cause you flashback. I'm going to go in with my only Henriksen Banana Bright Eye Cream. The orange jar from Kiehl's, that's my fave eye cream. You always want to tap it in. Yeah, that's the hydration we're looking for. Let's talk about color correcting. Most people do it wrong on Instagram because like if you use a lot of product I feel like you get a lot of views. The thing with correcting is you don't need a lot of product. You're trying to cancel out certain tones so you add other tones on top to like neutralize it. This is optional like I don't, honestly don't use this all the time. So we're gonna use our color theory for this. Um, if you want to cancel out redness you're gonna go for the green, yellowness, sallowness you go for the purple and for eye bags that are like purple or bluey, yellow or orange to correct. So the one I'm using is the L'Oreal Infallible Total Cover. So we're gonna go in with the orange corrector. Tap it under our under eye circles. Any purpleness. And for my redness and whatnot, I'm gonna go in with the green one. Oh, oh, oh. So that's really green. <laughs> Anyways, what's going on guys? What's new? What are the cool jams? Okay, we're looking a little green with Envy, but it's okay. Okay. My favorite foundation from time, the Maybelline Hydrate and Smooth Foundation. I'm in the shade 210 because it's actually like 74 times too dark for me. We'll just blend into our neck. It's all good. We're going to do it to a foundation. I'm gonna use my beauty blender. I always wet it beforehand and it just gives like a more luminous, dewy look. I need moisture. I need that H2O. All right, moving on to concealer. My favorite one at the moment is the Tarte Shape Tape and I am in the shade Light Medium Honey. It's good coverage. It doesn't make you look cakey. I incorporate nose contouring into my highlighting. So instead of contouring, I kind of just highlight to create the illusion of shadows. And we're going to take it all the way up here on the nose on either side. I feel like a mistake a lot of people make is they just apply it like where the bags are. But that can actually accentuate them sometimes. So you want to make sure you put concealer underneath down here. I put it around the nose. It's just going to cancel out some of those smile lines that can happen here. And then a little bit on the chin, underneath where we're going to contour, and on the forehead, just a little bit down the bridge of the nose. Take a wet beauty blender again. Um, I usually blend out the under eyes last just because they are very quick to crease, so I like to set them as soon as I blend it out. I do talk a little bit Beavis and Butt-heady, but that's it because Aisha and I are Beavis and Bud had reincarnated. Make sure to blend it out all the way under your eye makeup or translucent powder. This is my favorite one. It's the Laura Mercier one. It's just the original. It doesn't make me look too crusty. Okay, so you're gonna grab your wet beauty blender and dip it right in. The wetness of the beauty blender will also help the powder stick. We're gonna bake the areas that we've highlighted. Make sure to drag it up all the way through the nose. It's gonna make the nose appear slimmer. It's gonna make our bags appear a little less bagular, if you will. <laughs> People always ask me how they can make their makeup stay all day. What I feel like makes the biggest difference is when I bake my face. I also bake around my nose. 
It's gonna help your smile lines so that you don't get all like creasular and look like you're smiling all the time, you know what I mean? What you're gonna do is leave that in the oven for about like 10 minutes. I also baked the bridge of my nose where I highlighted. So that just kind of creates a more natural contour and we didn't even have to contour. We're not gonna bake the rest of our face, but if you set your face with a wet beauty blender, it just melts into the skin better. So I kind of just like lightly set the rest of my face. Hey I show wanna come in my video? What the heck? Come make a debut in my vid. I look like a pile of turds. <laughs> when do you not look like a pile of turds? Now get the heck out of here! What the heck? Can you say your stomach? <laughs> no, a covered. Ha, cool lightning on our ass. <laughs> Thank you. It's matching lightning on shark. Yeah. A little bit of the front done. <laughs> okay. Okay, so now we're gonna take off what we baked. My current two favorite highlighters are the Anastasia Beverly Hills Amrezy Highlight and the Dior Nude Air Luminizer in shade 3. Also the Maybelline Master Chrome Gold one, but I don't have that on me right now. I never apply my highlight dry, I always wet it. That's gonna make it pop more. Wet your brush beforehand. You can do this with water. I like doing it with setting spray. I really like the Gerard Cosmetics Slay All Day setting sprays because, I don't know, they just smell really good and they help everything stick. I am using the scent Lavender. Also, the brush I'm using is the Precision Highlighter Brush from Makeup Addiction Cosmetics. This is my favorite highlight brush right now. So I just give her a spray. I love this highlight. If you really want your highlight to stand out, you could use a cream highlight underneath. Same with contour, but personally, I just ain't nobody got time to cream contour and highlight every day. We're glistening. I don't want to bring it too far down just because I have a lot of texture in that area of my face. And then I highlight my nose and my chin. I just like my chin shining, don't question it. And then I do a little bit on the forehead. Just don't mind the fact that this has been through a lot. <laughs> it's the Wet n Wild Mega Glow Contour Palette. I really like this one. I actually use the other shade called like Dolce de Lish or something because it's more cool toned. This one will do for now. I'm using the Iconic London Contour Brush. Tap off the excess here and then I just follow under the cheekbone. You're just gonna start at the top with the most product because you don't want it to look harsh and then blend it down in circles. Sometimes I pat it in. It's just gonna make sure it stays. When you work in circles, it makes everything like more seamless. Then also I contour top of my forehead to make her smaller. When you have this much forehead, there's not much you can do about it, sister. And I'll just take some of the highlight powder from this palette, clean up under the contour. I'm gonna wipe that off. And blend this area a little bit more. I usually do blush last. It kind of ties together the highlight and contour. Also, one of my little tips to always match my blush with my lipstick color. It's gonna tie the whole look together. So I'm gonna go in with my iconic London blush brush and dip her in. Always work with a little bit of product in circular motions to tie it in. Where I put the blush is right between my contour and my highlight. Hit him with that gradient one time. When I do set my face, I like using a hydrating mist. I really like the Tatcha Dewy Skin Mist. It's really hydrating, it's really yummy, it's a little bit expensive. So if you want a budget-friendly option, check out MAC X Plus. So for lipstick, I'm gonna use the shade Ashton by Anastasia Beverly Hills. This is the final look I created. I hope you guys liked my video. I hope you guys enjoyed it. I hope it, I wasn't too annoying. Please let me know in the comments what you think. 
please make sure to like, comment, subscribe to my channel if you enjoyed what you saw. Bye! Love you! I'm such a loser. Just dropped it on my thigh. What's happening to my camera? Oh, nothing. The mo more... Uh, yeah, I just like the shade. Okay, bye. Foundation. Uh -huh. Imagine if I was in there like this. Okay, Aisha, I don't know how the lot. We have located our translucent powder. Yeah. Uh, my bad. You know those like spit lines?